initial reaction to the ATS coup was not exactly positive. Vociferous auto blog commenters found it bland and boring upon debut, with many missing the avant-garde looks of the CTS coup. The new ATS2 door is considerably more conservative than the CTS, sure, but that's due to customer feedback. Cadillac says customers asked for less visual mass and aggression this time around. We'll have to wait and see how shoppers respond to the new model, but it's worth noting that the wedgie CTS coupe never set sales charts alight. Cadillac's interior work has been one of the brand's brightest spots in recent years and the ATS coupe is no exception. Soft, supple, semi-aniline leather line the seats and armrests, while thin strips of unpolished sapel wood trim complement the Kona brown hides of our test car. Black leather, piano black trim and Alcantara round out the finer interior materials, and Cadillac's use of hard plastics is kept to an absolute minimum. Overall, the ADS Coupe's cabin reminds us a lot of the new Escalade, which is high praise considering you can almost buy two ATS Coupes for its price. Functionally, the dismissal of two doors has little impact on the ADS driving environment. The Coupe is as focused as the four-door, with very supportive. 12-way performance seats standard on V6 models like our tester. Combined with a leather-wrapped three-spoke wheel that tilts and telescopes, there's plenty of room for drivers of all body types. Unlike the CTS Coupe, visibility is quite good all around. The six-speed automatic is nothing to write home about. Driven normally, it's totally acceptable, delivering imperceptible performance. But once we started pushing, problems arose. While digging into the throttle, there was a notable pause as the Hydromatic 6L45 tried to find the appropriate cog. Things didn't improve much in manual mode, either, as shifts felt no more snappy. The large, wheel-mounted paddles also left something to be desired, as they didn't offer enough travel or a pleasingly crisp response. 